you do learn a lot about yourself, especially the first two, three times you do Le Mans, you realize that even if you don't sleep, it's not really an issue at all. And that kind of helps you to relax. And in the end, you end up sleeping just because you are more relaxed. I learned how to eat and use my energy throughout the week of Le Mans because, you know, Le Mans, we, we, we keep thinking uh, it's the 24 hours, but it's a long week. It's a very long week with lots of testing, lots of activities. And in the first few years, I was sometimes a bit exhausted before I even started the race. The perfect lap, I would say, is when you exit the last chicane and you feel like actually you didn't have traffic, you didn't lock the tires, you use all the curbs. You get that feeling that you did extract the maximum out of the machine. And unfortunately, due to the length of the track and all the traffic you have, that's not a feeling you get very often, you know, because you always have something and it's a long track, things can happen, you know, so you do get that feeling, but, you know, we do close to 400 laps. And if you get it three or four times, it's, um, it's a maximum. In the car, we have um, a drink system to help us drink. So it's kind of like a camelback system you'd have on your bike or something like that. So they plug it in and the tube gets connected to the, to the helmet. So we push the tube in, down the straight, or even we have it close to our mouth. So you can try and <laughs> catch it with your tongue, get it in the mouth and, um, and then take a few sips. You got to remind yourself a little bit because that's key for Le Mans hydration. It can be one of those things where if you don't keep up with it, you'll struggle towards the end of the race because you can't then get enough fluids back in to, to recover. We are really a multicultural company. At one point we had over 30 nationalities in the company, from Canada to uh, Japan, obviously New Zealand with, Brem uh, with Brandon, a lot of in Europe, uh, yeah, we have all over the place. Yeah. For that, catering is for sure a challenging job, I can say, to, to organize. And uh, some people have a heavy breakfast, some small. Typically the Germans, they, they like a big breakfast. Uh, the Italians, they like a very small, the French also less. So it's completely different uh, in the way. But uh, yes, I think at the moment we found a very good compromise to make everybody happy. Well, when you get on the, on the, out of a car, it's uh, so many things. You want to sleep, you want to see the engineers, you want to eat, you want to do everything. But yeah, of course, eating is, is one of the most important things. And it's one of the, the things that as soon as I arrived in endurance, my teammates told me, you know, after you jump in the car, you need to eat because you need to recover as quick as you can. We have procedures and uh, uh, this is obviously very important uh, communication, which has to be kept lean and uh, precise. So the team is teached how to, uh, to achieve that. Only one person talks to the driver, only the race engineer. Just keep normal pace, keep normal pace. There is always some distortion uh, of the voice through the radio. So in order to avoid possible miscommunication, Within one crew, all the information which have to come to the driver goes through the race engineer. Then, in some critical race situation where the two cars have to be in front at the same time, then the chief race engineer takes over and talks to the two cars. But this is exceptional. In the morning, you know, when the sun comes out and the light is, is coming and it's, it's a magical moment to be honest because in the morning you realize you've, you went through the night, it was tough, it was long and now the, the real part of the race is starting because it's where the, the car, the machine is starting to get a, a bit tired, you've done a lot, you are tired as well and in general around 8 a.m. in the morning, you, you feel fresh again because your body is obviously used to wake up in the morning and do things, but around 2, 3, 4 in the morning, it's, it's a tough part. But it's, it's a magical moment to see the, the sunset, yeah.